Hi everybody, welcome to Sister Girl's Second Act. For those of you who know me, my name is Sheila. And if this is your first time, welcome, welcome, welcome. Dinner is going to be relatively simple. I'm making up skewered chicken and a basic salad, baby arugula and spinach. Or should I say arugula and baby spinach? That's more like it. I'm going to be making the dressing from scratch, the breadcrumbs from scratch, and I can give you a tidbit or two in regards to how I cut my wooden skewers. Anyway, oh, before I forget, please like and subscribe this video. I know you're going to enjoy it. Let me get this stuff together and let's get started. So the first thing you want to do before you even start with the chicken is to go ahead and soak your skewers, the new ones. Always soak your skewers first. That will keep them or prevent them from burning, you know, when you actually go to cook with them. And just, you know, just leave them in the sink for a couple of minutes. So these are the chicken tenderloins that I'm using. You can cut up chicken breasts as well, but I thought that this might be a little bit easier. Even if I cut it into chunks or I could just leave it the length that it is and go ahead and put the wooden skewer through it. But I'm going to go ahead and leave them in this container that it came in to save me some time on cleaning. We all could use a little bit of that, huh? And um, yeah, season it while I'm waiting for the skewers to soak up the water a little bit more. Now, a good trick that I use when it comes to if my skewers are too long, and most of the times you have to cut them down if they're too large for the pan, I take and use this, which is a dog clipper. I had extra one that I keep around and um, I just simply put it onto the skewer There you go. <laughs> and I just continue to do this. I mean, it's so handy. And it's easy. You know how thick dog's nails are. Well, the wooden skewers, it helps. And it does it quickly. I'm going to go ahead and proceed to finish these off. And then I'm going to go ahead and season up my chicken. This is actually kind of fun, okay? So in the end, I have most of them around the same length, which is pretty good. And if they're too still too long, then I just cut them down a little bit more, that's all. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and season my chicken. Just take. Make sure I put some olive oil. Just rub them through.
uh, into the fridge. I have some Italian bread here, which I will proceed to cut up into cubes. Now, it doesn't matter whether you have them large or small, that is your preference. I'm making enough to put in the spinach, uh, baby spinach arugula salad. Once I cut these up, I'm going to turn around and put them in the oven. Well, I'll put a little bit of uh, salt on them, garlic powder and salt, and place them in the oven until they turn golden brown. While I'm waiting for the um, chicken to finish marinating in the refrigerator, I'm going to go ahead and make some dressing. Normally I would take a raw egg and go ahead and build my dressing around it, but it's kind of too warm outside today and I really don't want to play around with that. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and take a tablespoon of mayo because the mayo already has egg in it as you know. I'm going to take that to that I'm going to add some Dijon mustard I have honey a honey Dijon mustard that I'm using and to that I'm going to go ahead and put some garlic powder in there a little bit of salt um, stir that up and add some Parmesan cheese to it and a little bit of olive oil basically just stir until it's creamy if you find that it's too thick you can always add more oil to it but you want it to be like a creamy enough where it can like pour out of the bowl so I go ahead and do this this only takes like about you know a few minutes as you can see you can set it to the side or you can put this in the refrigerator Now we're ready to take the chicken and start grilling. Got a nice size grill pan here. As you can see, the skewers fit. I have cut them down and you just like put them in there. There may be a couple that are too long and I'll cut them down as needed. Like this one looks like I could probably cut it down a little more. But anyway, I usually put them in um, directional you know at opposite directions I never put them straight across I like to have them going in different directions and just I could probably fit like about five or six in this pan one two three four five I can put one more in there and then I proceed to let them um, cook like I said you're gonna let them grill. It's gonna take a few minutes. Oh, there's the last one I was looking for. <laughs> so I have six chicken skewers in the pan. The pan is nice and hot. I did add a little bit of oil before I started and put them in there. But you know, let them take their time. Don't be in a hurry. Let them sit and cook. After a while, you can check them and turn them over. I've also cut up a little bit of lemon and put some lemon in there just to give the pan a lemony flavor. As you can see, one side is done. I'm turning them over. And I'm going to do the same thing and just let them sit and cook.
chicken skewers all done don't they look delicious I'm about to plate up with the salad and then we're done so I've got my salad that I'm gonna finish up making got a couple of these in here I'm gonna go ahead pull my breadcrumbs in and as I was saying Prior to this, I had soaked some of them in a little bit more of olive oil so they wouldn't be so crunchy. You don't want to break a tooth trying to eat your salad, you know? I'm going to put some of that in there. I'm going to go ahead and put some more Parmesan in there, even though I have Parmesan in my dressing as well. Got a little bit of garlic, just a little bit that I'm putting in there. And I made some homemade dressing. Except I cheated a little bit because I used um, mayo. I don't like playing around with egg yolks because the original recipe calls for egg yolks. And that's just not me. So I got safe and played it with mayonnaise instead. I used a little bit of mayo, a little bit of... Um, Parmesan, a little bit of garlic, some olive oil, some Dijon mustard, a little bit of salt and pepper. And I'm just gonna like, you know, take and get this all nice together. I have some saved on the side. If you wanna add more, you can. This is just a light coating. Your salad is done. I'm getting ready to plate up and I will show you how the final process is done. I've plated it up. This is how it looks. Thanks everybody for stopping by today and remember to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Everyone be safe. Bye.